Hi guys, uh, today I will show you how we can apply makeup using Adobe Photoshop CC and as usual I'm using my um, Wacom tablet. First of all I will duplicate my layer and I will zoom in my image like that. Um, using spot healing brush tool with content aware type I will uh, fix uh, my model's uh, eyebrows something like that yes I like what I'm seeing and right now I will add empty layer I will sample um, color from my model's skin I will make um, my color darker than her skin tone and I will use a brush tool and just paint over my model eye the most important uh, you're supposed to apply eyeshadow on separate layer and now I will apply a blur filter you can apply any blue filter you want to any filter you are comfortable with something like that okay and I will lower opacity of my layer and because I, ap I applied shadow on separate layer I will apply layer mask and I will erase some areas of her uh, shadow I don't want to see it. I will um, create new empty layer and I will apply same eyeshadow on uh, models uh, right eye and again I will apply a filter blur filter you can apply any filter you uh, blue filter type of blue filter you want to and Photoshop remember uh, my last um, setting so I just need to click OK and I will lower opacity of my layer and let me zoom out and we will see is it's proportional or not yes like that and right now I will apply another empty layer I will bring my color for, for uh, one uh, tone up darker and using my uh, brush tool I will apply another eyeshadow layer and using blur effect again you can use any uh, blue effect uh, filter you like I will bring a layer opacity down I will apply layer mask and also I will apply layer mask on my previous layer And now I will apply same um, in a layer of my model's eyeshadow to her left eye. So another empty layer, same uh, brush with same color. Filter, blur. And again, Photoshop remembers my last setting. Bring a layer opacity down. I will just add extra step and layer opacity down 
a layer mask erase uh, some part uh, of her eyeshadow and now I will uh, create another empty layer and I will use black background with a small um, size of my brush I will paint just extra step let me see and I will bring layer opacity down I will apply a layer mask and I will erase paint out some parts of your eyeliner And again, I will use a blur uh, filter, but um, with small radius on it. And let's see what we are having so far. Uh, let's work on her another eye. Another empty layer, same uh, brush with same color on it. bring a layer opacity down uh, um, we will apply layer mask again and erase some parts of her eyeliner just a little not too much guys I will bring it back and yes and now I will use a blur filter and again Photoshop remembers my last setting click OK I will merge right now all uh, visible layers in our case it's our makeup layers and I will show you it's before our makeup and this is after so far and right now we will apply uh, more eyeshadow under her eyebrows and I will apply a white eyeshadow and again I will create new empty layer I will use my brush uh, with bigger size filter, blur, any um, blur type you want to ok, bring a layer opacity down and um, a layer mask and now I will erase eyeshadow from her eyebrows and part of her um, eyes area I can duplicate this layer and create same effect on her another eyes eye but in that case I need to use free transform tool apply and I will bring a layer opacity a little up and will erase uh, eyeshadow from her eyebrows I will merge all uh, visible and this is our uh, image before we applied uh, makeup and this is after and let's apply um, some lipstick uh, what I will do I will um, take sample of her uh, current lipstick color I will bring this color probably few tones down create new layer use same brush let me zoom in and because I'm applying her um, lipstick on a separate layer uh, I can uh, lower opacity or uh, change blending mode for current layer let's see 
let me bring layer opacity down and we will see layer mask I will make my uh, brush size smaller and I don't like uh, my uh, last effect so I will um, lower opacity of my um, brush and I will paint it back yes like that I will merge down and this is our makeup before our image before and this is after we applied makeup and right now i will apply makeup on her cheek i will add extra layer i will use um probably the same color i applied on her lips um let's see first of all let me zoom in my image same brush same color We can apply any type of makeup we want to. Uh, it depends uh, of our vision. We, we can apply more art makeup. We can apply more natural makeup. A filter, blur filter. okay and change uh, layer opacity bring it down just slight uh, touch of makeup just a little let me zoom out and we will see merge down and this is our image before we applied makeup and this is after and I will merge all layers me visible layers I will duplicate my layer and I will use a liquify to smooth her uh, hairline Uh, using freeze mask tool, I will freeze um, her hair. So I don't want to touch uh, her uh, inside. And uh, right now I'm having um, a white background. So if I will have busy background with any details, uh, it will be difficult to apply a liquify tool if you will not freeze. Uh, parts of her image you don't want to touch as you can see um, I'm not applying liquify tool to uh, all her hair I'm applying to some specific part of her head same here As you can see, even if I will paint over uh, my mask, uh, I will not apply any effect. I will apply effect only to the area inside the mask, freezing mask. Same here. Okay, and this is before, this is after. Also, I would like to uh, erase this part, and I will do it using clone stamp tool.
let's see and I will show you our image before and our image after so as you can see uh, if for some reason uh, we set up a um, photo session and our makeup artist cancel session for some reason we don't need to cancel our session we can apply makeup um, digitally using Adobe Photoshop CC 